I didn't say I'm never f***ing you again. Hmm? I'm not f***ing nobody. Why are you still here? Why are you kicking me out like that, bro? You leaving regardless. I'm not kicking you out. Because <laughs> I don't want to. You're crazy. You are. Okay, bye. Yo, this nigga is fucking crazy. Yo, y'all. I won't be surprised if that nigga come trying to burn my motherfucking door down. Let me tell y'all what happened, right? I'm mad because me and this nigga in the bed. This nigga going nut. Two, like not even two minutes. Put like two strokes in, and then nigga going nut. So I'm pissed off. Like, why the fuck you playing with me? Then the nigga gonna fucking nut, and I'm just like, I'm done. I don't want to give me a hug if you love. He said, give me a hug if you love me. Why the fuck you gonna nut that fast? Like I'm pissed off at you. You did bad, bro. You did not complete the mission. I'm pissed off. You wasted my time. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm kicking him out. And he don't want to go. Hold on. What? See you tomorrow or another week. I just gave you a hug. It's Royce Davis on the check-in, and we got Scarlett. She probably out in the Bronx somewhere. Niggas gonna feel the shit from BX to Far Rock. But anyway, she went on Instagram Live to blast her dude for any lasting a stroke or two in bed. And to me, this is legendary level status of corniness. Dude, go on Instagram Live with it. I don't know if it's because I'm a 90s baby and she's a 2000s baby and this is what they do. But to me, this is just corny. I mean, the blast dude saying you ain't kicking him out. Then at the end of the video, he say he kicked him out. Then dude over there looking pathetic talking about, if you love me, hug me. Because <laughs> I don't want to. You know, and I would just chalk it up and be like, oh, this just is probably like a little flick or something to her. But towards the end, she ends up hugging him. So you know that this is just some type of bullshit ass relationship. I just gave you a hug. Because then you got a dude looking weak. You got her looking mad masculine. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. I did see some of her Vlad TV interview where she was talking about being graped when she was a kid and you know, the craziness she grew up with. So I'm not too surprised how she is and presenting herself. And I actually like some of her music. You know, uh, I heard some verses that I said was pretty decent. But anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe.